channel today we are drawing a sheet metal box so this is the 3d drawing by using sheet metal commands so let's start without wasting time so firstly go to the new then go to the part then select all the planes and click on show so firstly we are drawing the box so we take a so we take a top plane and click on sketch firstly we need to create a base plane so we are using rectangle for that so by using rectangle command center rectangle so draw center rectangle and choose the smart dimension so take the dimension at the bottom side of the rectangle take it as 500 and other one is as 300 So go to the sheet metal and use the base flank and change the thickness. I will take it as 3mm and click OK. Our base flange is created. So we go with the edge flanges. We are creating 90 degree edge flanges. So just click the edge. select the four edges all four edges and select the distance as 500 this is too much enough then click ok we are creating a box so we need to enclose all edges to create a box so we are again choosing edge flange command then select all the flange all the corners or all the edges all four edges Then select the distance. That is the flange length. Each flange length has 30 mm. Then click OK. Now our box is ready. So we need to draw the top cover fitting alignment are the holes to fit the top cover on the box so firstly choose the second edge flange that is longer length face and go to the sketch then we need to draw the rectangle this is the different thing we are using square except of circle because we use their the cage nut to fit the cage nut there we need a square square of 9.5 and 9.5 in that cavity that the cage nut fits I'll show you the photo of the cage nut so you will get the idea about cage nut and their fitting so so we are choosing the 9.5 and 9.5 square cutout and then we choose the another distances that is distance from the end edge and the corner of the edge flange the sketch is fully constrained then we need, need to do the linear pattern select the distance and 
firstly select the lines to pattern so select all four lines then change the direction we need in another direction and change the distance so I will take it firstly as 300 it is a know the distance so we will change it rather than this is too long so we change it as 200 this is quite much enough then press ok then we need to constrain this so take the dimensions for the reference In our sketch is fully constrained and in this sketch then go to the extrude cut then select the link to thickness then press ok then our only edge flange part is cutted so this is enough so we need to so we need to mirror this to the another side of edge flange so firstly select the sketch then go to the feature and go to the mirror features firstly select the plane and press ok our slot is mirrored so our box is ready now we need to design an enclosure for that box So then go to the new and go to the part and select all the planes click on show select the top plane and sketch then again create a rectangle we need a base plane so we need to create a base so I'll take it as a rectangle and uh, using smart dimension take the dimension as 500 510 then at other side 310 we need to create a cover bigger than the box so it will fit in it then go to the base flange and choose the thickness as 3mm again we need to create edge flanges so click on edge click on all four edges and select the distance as or the flange length as 30 mm then click ok our top core is ready only we need to the ask the holes for the cage net or the fitting the top core to the bottom box for firstly select top side and go to the sketch then choose the circle then draw a random circle we will give the dimension so go to the smart dimension select the center point and end edge so we will take it as 150 we are giving the dimension If the hole doesn't match then we can change the dimension from here so we'll take the dimension as 155 also we give the dimension from the another edge which is 15 plus 5 still our sketch is not constrained so we are giving the diameter which gives us constraint diagram so we will choose it as 6.8 so m6 bolt passes through it it doesn't matter so m6 or m5 bolt easily passes through it so once again we choose linear sketch pattern 
to pattern this so choose the direction choose the dimension also I'll take it as 200 and click on OK then again we are choosing the dimensions to constrain our circle our dimension our diagram is fully constrained so then exit sketch then extruded go to the extruded cut link to thickness and click on ok our hole is done now we need to mirror this so go to the mirror feature then select the sketch and select the plane then press ok our enclosure cover is ready so we need to assemble it so go to the new then go to the assembly then we need to browse the, our box or enclosure so browse the enclosure then go to the assembly and press insert component we need our top cover so click on top cover our top cover is here click anywhere we need to give the mate to it for the full assembly or the constant assembly firstly we need to measure the distance of the box and cover so we will give the mat as per that dimensions so select the edge and edge so take the major tape we are using end to end distance of the enclosure or the box which is 504 there is 2 mm gap so we can adjust as per that outside of the box edge and select the inside of the cover edge and use the dimension use the distance mid and choose this as 2mm change the direction flip the direction and press ok now similarly to another perpendicular side We are using same trick or the mate to the perpendicular side. So we are again checking the dimensions in twin dimensions or inside inside dimension and outside dimensions of the box or enclosure and inside dimensions of the cover. So go to the mates and select the outside of the enclosure and inside of the cover and again give the distance mate and choose the distance as 2mm and flip the direction as per consistency then click ok and our last mate is balance So we need to select the top portion of the enclosure and the bottom portion of the cover. So choose the mid as coincident and click OK. Now our sketch is fully constrained. Now we need to see the whole two square is fully matching or not. So by zooming in we are checking it ok 
our whole two square matching is completed this is our full assembly